everybody, it's Jeff with Jeff's Jet Boat Channel, and today we're getting ready to head out to the lake, and I'd go over um, some boat trailering um, things that we do, and we've been doing all year long, and to show you, um, just to give you our perspective of it. So here we go. Well, it's gonna be a little dirty because we use it non-stop, but today we're gonna go over pulls up, pulls down when towing your boat. Uh -huh. um, everybody has their own opinion on it. Now we tow our boat to the lake, which is about 35 minute drive on the interstate. We usually tow at 65 or 70. Um, we've been doing this all year long and our cover has had no problem. So what we do is we don't have any poles up in the, in the front. Take the pole down the front, but we leave the pole up in the back. I'm gonna go inside and I'll show you what I mean by poles for some people that just don't know. Alrighty, as you can see, that pulls up there. We fold our Bimini tower to the front. And then we use no pull um, in the middle for towing. We get back home, we keep the other pull down the ski locker, and then we'll set it back up. But for towing, this works great. Nowhere, nothing. I don't use, some people put a noodle on the top of their window frame right there to prevent chafing, I guess. Um, but you know, I. I we, I've looked at the cover, I inspect it, and everything still looks just great. But we do keep the back pole up. Um, no stretching, the seams all look good. Um, and that's pretty much it on um, pulls up and pulls down. So that's how we do it. Alrighty, so the next thing is getting the boat to pull up on the eyelet. Um, when we first got this boat, um, two things, our bunks were worn out. But we had a problem trying to, we had to like, this thing was stuck. This thing felt like when we went to back it up, it was stuck on the trailer. We'd have this thing fully dunked. Um, this is what I recommend for fixing that. This is silicone lubricant. Any brand will work. It's super cheap. We bought this at Menards. And what we do is this lasts, we, we did our first coat in March and it lasted up until, oh, the end of July, I think. And all we do is we spray this bottom bunk right here, this long bottom one. We do it on, on both sides. And how we spray it is, I mean, it's, we don't use a whole, we don't use a ton of it. And now, so the best way to apply this is, it's when you're coming back in the day. So the trailer's sitting out in the parking lot. Um, it's been drying in the sun. Um, before you dunk it, go out, grab your can. And again, just spray that front row. And all you need to do is spray it, and I'll show you. Very simple. Let's just say, let's just say this was your bunk. You just go through and just go, just like that, just down the bunk board. Um, and it makes it loading up so nice, so nice. And then it'll last about, I don't know, three or four months. And we use our boat constantly. We use this thing all the time. We go out two nights, we go out two nights during the week to wakeboard, and then we go out usually one day on the weekend. So three days a week, we're using it. So. This will help. Now, the only reason I don't say to do it on both bunks is you can make them super slick. And it's not a problem. I mean, once it's latched up front and then it's also secured in the back, it's not going anywhere. It's not. Not at all. Um, especially if you got a safety chain, it's not going. What you will notice is when you first use this, if you pull the boat all the way up and there's any slack in it, the boat, even on the ground, like say you. Let's say, um, let's say you come to a stop really hard, the boat might slide up a little bit on, on the trailer. And if that happens, just take the slack out of your, your, um, your winch and then just give it a couple adjustments here on the back. And that's it, man. That's, that's what I say about this stuff right here. Hey guys, uh, next part of this video is gonna be your trailer brakes. Just checking the operation of them. Some people are like, does my trailer brakes even work? Um, the reverse solenoid, um, all this stuff. So I'm gonna go over that with you real quick. Okay, so to check, to see if your reverse lockout solenoid is working. I mean, this is what prevents brake pressure from applying when you back up. The best way to check this, and to check to see if your brakes are even working, is to come over here and just unplug your wiring, because that'll, that won't allow you to lock it out, and then back up the trailer and see if the brakes lock, lock up. So, 
Um, here we're backing the boat up right now down the ramp. And so whenever you get your boat, you want to kind of figure out where in the water is best to load it, to unload it and load it. Now I can tell you on my boat, and if you got an AR-230 at the factory trailer, it's pretty much on the um, on the rear fender. And when I get this thing in the water, I'm going to show you kind of what I use as a marker. And this helps me every time. Of course, every ramp's different, but this will give you a, a really good idea on what we're doing. Alrighty, so we got our boat in the water. Um, what I'm looking at is on that fender, and I'll get in the boat and show you here. I'm looking where the water hits that fender. Now, if you are loading your boat and you notice that the bow tries to go underneath the roller, so as you're pulling up, this part here is going underneath the roller, what you need to do is you need to pull the trailer out more, and that'll get the bow to go on top. Just a little trick. So as you can see, the water is right there, pretty much in the middle on the diamond tread right there. That's what I use as my marker for getting it in, getting it out. It's a little trick. So next thing I do when I'm unloading is I run my blower. I usually run my blower when I am um, getting everything staged, getting the cover off. So now once I get this in, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the boat in gear and I'm gonna give the boat just a little bit of throttle while my lovely wife unhooks. This will keep it from sliding back and her having to unwinch. Good, and then I'm just gonna pull it off. Just like that, piece of cake. Say piece of cake, babe. Hi. That's not piece of cake, that's the word hi. It's okay, kids don't listen. And that's it, there you go.